right, Daddy Jack's coming with the blues now. I just did my mom's uh, chicken out of the king recipe. I haven't really, first time I really, really looked back into her uh, recipe files, but we started doing a lot of her recipes. One of our favorites was American chop suey. I had to ask somebody, because I hadn't said American chop suey in uh, years. I said, did we really call it American chop suey? Now, where'd they come up with that name? Or goulash, you know, from the Hungarians and the, and the Germans, Austrians. So we call it goulash. But it was one of our favorites growing up. And uh, we're here on our day off. Paul Orsini Peltier here doing our official taste tester in the, taste tester in the house. I haven't done it in a while. Mike. I haven't been a while, I've been working too hard. <laughs> and I enjoyed a nice rainy day off here on a Monday here. We're just chilling, cooking up some nice uh, home style recipes. Glenn Peltier on camera. Zeroing in, man. You're up. You are on it. So, uh, so here we're gonna go. We're gonna start out with the onion. It's almost as we can almost make this as fast as uh, as uh, it takes to boil your pasta. We're, we're just gonna get a little head start. There's the inside of that pepper. Came out of here, but I'm not throwing it away. I'm using it. Look at that. A baby bell. And just a little bit of uh, fresh fennel there that I had laying around, left over. Okay, some, uh, some white onion. You know, again, one of the key ingredients to me is uh, is the bell pepper. That flavor in the uh, American chopped suey. You know, it's, uh, I love it too, you know, like, I've gone to a couple of soul food restaurants down in Dallas, Mrs. Burns, Mrs. Burns down in Dallas. Oh, I used to love going there. And, uh, but she had spaghetti on like Thursdays or whatever. She, she'd make it and, and put it in the steam table. And, I, and you know, as long as you don't overcook your pasta, it's not gonna really overcook. You know, you have the, uh, you know, the sauce, you don't put too much liquid in it so the pasta doesn't absorb all, all that. I want a little bit more uh, green bell pepper too. A little more fennel back in here also. I do I don't I don't use a crazy amount of bell, green bell pepper, but I, some, a lot of people don't like the flavor, but I think because you don't cook it enough. So uh A little bit, you know, you got a lot of a little bit of fat in that ground beef. Ooh. Oh. That's the ultimate facial right there, huh? <laughs> oh. Ultimate preheating. So What I'm going to do is I have the uh, elbows that's going into boiling water. So pretty much when this is done, I hope that sauce is going to be ready. Nice. Uh, I forgot what we got. This nice, kind of organic. We're trying to buy organic when we can. No, no growth hormones and all that junk. I've not, not been eating a whole lot of red meat these days. And uh, this is like, I don't know, probably you never believe what they put on at eighty. They say eighty twenty or. Uh, 85, 15, or 90, 10. Now, come on. Like they don't test every batch. So I'm gonna let that cook down. And uh, 
So I didn't have any raw. Somebody cooked up all my sausage here. Or Sadie's. The best. So I'm going to take it out of the casing for this recipe. I want kind of a... Yeah. All time to perfection while I got the ground beef going. Right, Glenn? That's right. Gotta act like we know what we're doing, right? <laughs> Even if you don't know, Sometimes. <laughs> Got yeah, some nice uh, heat, nice little flavor into it. But I used to love this in the cafeteria at, at school. Oh, that's cool. These lunch ladies, man, this is one of their signature deals. Yeah. Maybe that's for the American chops we eat. Maybe. Nice, that was breaking up. Pass me that salt and pepper, please. Or I'll get it right here. Yeah. Yeah. Salt and pepper. That an extra fat in the uh, sausage, you know, it's going to mix in there. Put a little bit of goodness in there. There's not a lot of fat in your sausage. That's the thing, when it cooks down, man, it's all lean. Not a lot of lean in this uh, ground beef either. So we're not there. Uh, I got a little bit of chicken stock laying around, so I'll pour a little bit in there. Just to kind of get that bottom. All that nice flavor on the edges. And we're going to get in here with the uh, tomatoes. So we're cooking this for ourselves tonight, just so there's no worries. And if you believe Mama didn't reach in there with her hands, let me tell you what. Always good. Oh yeah. As long as your hands are clean. What I do is that a lot of times when I'm starting to cook, especially at home, I wash up any any odd odd dishes laying around, you know, soap, hot water. And then as soon as I'm done cooking, you know, with a pan, I wash it. When I when I'm done cooking, it's just what the plates in the dinner table wear. Okay, we're gonna pour this in right in. Well, to Cucina, baby. There it is, Stanislaus. It's kind of a kind of a raw sauce because then you because uh, then you know you, the, the pasta is going to cook into it. A uh, little bit of granulated garlic. Careful with the red pepper. A little red pepper flake. Dried thyme. We don't 
want we don't want to overcook our pasta. We want to cook it like al dente. Drop is there. So I'm going to drain this off and we'll be right back. All right, hey, we just drained the pasta not a minute or two ago, and there it is. You know, it's a raw sauce, like like Bruno was saying, it's a, a, a quick bolognese. And uh, so, get my pasta, okay. So, this is what I like, don't put too much. It's like, get it all mixed in nice. A little bit more. Abundanza, huh? Yeah. Dang, whoever came up with this, huh? Just made up, they heated, reheated some leftover pasta. Yeah. You know what? We're going with all of it. Just, what the hell? Abundanza. Mm hmm. get a half a sheet pan. Let me just roll over here. Oh, I got a little bit left in there, Glenn. Well, it's not long enough. I'm serious. It's like even if you got it's a little loose, just let it sit in there for a minute. Soak everything up is really the best. I think we need to try it though. That's the problem. Chefs, you know, we taste everything, taste everything, and whenever we sit down and eat a whole meal, then we leave. Got, got to drive by Wendy's, Burger King, Popeyes. <laughs> oh no. My buddy, one of the best chefs I know, he used to go get Stouffer's. No. Like ground beef and uh, macaroni or macaroni yeah. and cheese, he'd go home and eat. We hit it on the money, man. from France, he wrote me a letter, he says, I love American cheese. I said, I said, can we quote you on that? I'm not sure, I'm not sure that uh, Goulash had American cheese, but we're putting it. What do you think, Glenn? Version. What do you think, you want yours with? Uh, you can put it. Please. With? Yeah, that's good. We just put one on there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and then look. Uh-oh, what's that now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. We just came up with that idea the other day. White cheddar. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is nothing more American than that. <laughs> American cheese, American chop suey. Cheese, cheese it. <laughs> Yeah, these comments, uh, the Italy and stuff, you know, because you go with pasta. Oh, Americans. Oh. <laughs> they don't get jealous now. Hey. Wow. Okay, that's going right in the oven. Hold on. It's going right in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes so that is nice and golden brown. 
or nice melted, I should say, not golden brown. Look at all we got. We got leftovers now. Come on, Paul and Glenn. Look at that. Wake up. You gonna take some home? Huh? We need it if I put it. Yeah, Paul will take some home. Oh, for lunch. sure. Sure. Maybe not Paul. Blame it on me all the time. You know, he does eat. I do eat. Yeah, that's. Okay. I think a cut above might be uh, having a really good lunch tomorrow. Hey, wow. <laughs> you have an oven over there? Yeah. You gotta bring it hot. I might have to bring it hot. We're late tomorrow night. We'll cook it up and we'll uh, do it for dinner. It'd be nice to Glenn tonight. He might throw it in the oven and bring it down. I might. <laughs> Wait a minute. Again, I might not. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap that for you. Thank you. We'll take that right home. Pop it in the oven. You know, that'd be better actually. Make it like in the morning. Let it set up and then yeah. bake it. Cause then the pasta absorbs all the. And that's going. Uh, we'll wrap it up by about 25 minutes in the oven. All right. Perfect. All right. We'll be back about another 10 minutes. We'll be ready to roll. Okay. All right. It's goulash time. American chop suey. You like? I'm thinking back, I said, this is Chinese, sir. Where the hell did I get this recipe? Chop suey. Well, we're gonna we'll leave the rest of them in the oven and this one here is a ready to roll. I'm just gonna glaze it under the broiler now. Right. It's like one minute under the broiler, keep a good eye on it. Or just leave it in the oven, let it really cook, cook itself, brown up. We'll be right back. Ready, set, go. Go. Let's go. There she is. Uh, wow. American goulash. Come on, Paula. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> I think at the school cafeterias, they didn't put cheese on top. Nope. They couldn't afford it. No. Government cheese, right? Back in the day. Mm. Wow, that's good. I like their crunchy on the top. Ah. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> Even for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Like just enough sauce and stuff. The school cafeteria ladies, like I said, you know, we had to butter them up a little bit. Get a little extra. Learn your last name. Hello, Mrs. Smith. Nice to see you. <laughs> your hair's looking little... lovely today. <laughs> Seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Load it up, man. Well, I used to love that uh, beef tips over egg noodles. That was my mm -hmm. favorite, oh, one of my it? favorite days. Mm -hmm. this, was, this was pretty good here. I was telling Paul and Glenn earlier that. My youngest of five kids and my, my mother goes shopping once a week. She menu plan the whole week. And uh, whatever she brought home, that was it. Potato chips, uh, Cheez-Its, you know, the regular Cheez-Its back in the day. Uh, uh, potato sticks, pretzels. Man, all five of us, we'd attack, you know. <laughs> all those goodies would be gone. My dad, you know, he'd, he'd come home and there's no goodies. So a buddy of his was a carpenter, Jim McCarthy. Built a small goodie, uh, not a small, good sized goodie cabinet. He put it in his room. He locked all, you know, his personal <laughs> stuff, his coin collection, memorabilia, and he had, you know, he had uh, some cookies, had uh, had some Little snacks. Oreos. You know, <laughs> hey, Dad's room was a place to hang. <laughs> but. Like I said, you let it set, let it absorb, you know, some of the sauce. The rich, the uh, rich, the cheese that's on top will soften up. Real crunchy here. Really good. But you know, some different. Make it your own. That's what we did here today. And 
American classic. We got probably uh, the roots came from Germany, Aus Austria, uh, goulash, maybe Italian, you know, some Italian spaghetti that somebody nicknamed it. It's an, uh, it's an American classic. I hadn't even thought about it for probably 40 years. The name. I don't really think back. Did we really call it American goulash? Yeah. All right, Paul and Glenn, thank you so much. We did it again, had some fun down here on a Monday, yeah, rainy yeah. Monday afternoon. Good way to spend an afternoon. And uh, I think we ruined our dinner appetite though. Yeah, I don't think we're having dinner Salad. tonight. Salad. Salad tonight. Salad for us next. <laughs> Thank you guys go with the blues. Glenn Felt here on camera. Unbelievable. Our new, you know, just new and improved. Uh, we're getting we're getting this down pretty fast. Paula, our Sadie Peltier, our Sadie Sausage Company. Orsinisausage.com. You gotta get some of that triple hot. Sweet Italian, uh, fennel garlic. Oh man, it's all it's all so tasty and we really uh, spice this up a little bit, that Italian sausage we put in there. And uh, cut above, hair salon. Some busy people. We won't even go into Glenn's day job. Yeah. Hey, we'll leave that alone right now. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Pink their curiosity, Glenn. <laughs> All right, thank you guys go with the blues here. Beautiful downtown London, Connecticut. Come visit. Peace. Mm.